Wouldn't it be nice if the exhaust of your car could be used as fuel for your motorcycle? And the exhaust of your motorcycle could be used for fuel for your car. You would have a nice cycle in which both the car and the motorcycle benefited. Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science and the relationship between photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration have a similar relationship. The waste product of photosynthesis is used in cellular respiration and the waste product of cellular re respiration is used for fuel in photosynthesis. In order to stay alive, we need to eat. However, have you ever thought, do plants need food? Yes. But how do plants get food by just standing around all day? Plants get their energy using a process called photosynthesis. In order for photosynthesis to take place, a plant needs three items. Water, like you see in this rainstorm. Carbon dioxide, found in the atmosphere. In fact, we breathe out carbon dioxide, and it's also released into the atmosphere when we burn organic objects. And then last, sunlight. So here's how it works. Plants have small openings called stomata on their surfaces. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere enter these tiny openings and travel to the chloroplasts. Photosynthesis occur at these chloroplasts, which are small organelles that plants have. The plants take the carbon dioxide plus water and energy from the sun and in a chemical reaction create sugar in the form of glucose and then some oxygen that it releases into the atmosphere. Sugar created in the chemical reaction called photosynthesis is used by the plant to create energy. You could define photosynthesis as the process by which plants and other items make food. It is a chemical process that uses sunlight to turn carbon dioxide and water into sugars that the cell can use as energy. Now why is cellular respiration important? It's important because living organisms, including plants, generate energy for their daily activities using cellular respiration. Cellular respiration takes place at the mitochondria. Think of the mitochondria as the power plant for cells, similar to how cells use power plants for their energy. So here's how it works in basic terms. At the mitochondria, the sugar combines with oxygen to produce carbon dioxide, water, and energy in the form of ATP. So in summary, photosynthesis takes carbon dioxide and water plus sunlight to create oxygen and sugar, which is exactly what cellular respiration needs. Cellular respiration takes the sugar and oxygen to create carbon dioxide and water plus ATP, which helps with photosynthesis. And this cycle repeats over and over again. If you'd like to know more about photosynthesis and cellular respiration, this playlist will help. And as always, thanks for watching, and Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.